hi everyone in this video we're going to solve this equation which is x square minus y square equals 24 x y equals 35 so what is x plus y equals to so let us say that this is equation 1 this is equation 2 and this is equation 3 so from the first equation we can easily identify that it is an identity or it's a formula which formula we're going to write that that is a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b so that's what we can see from the equation one so let's let's write down our equation one that's x squared minus y squared is equal to 24. So we're going to write it in this form. a plus b times a minus b. That's x plus y times x minus y is equal to 24. And now we're going to square both sides. So what are we going to get when we square both sides? That's x plus y times x minus y. The whole square is equal to 24 square. And now, <clears throat> this square can also be taken for each product. So x plus y, the whole square, times x minus y, the whole square, is equal to 24 square now we're going to expand that what is x plus y the whole square in x minus y it's same as we're going to write a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b squared and what about a minus b whole square that's a square minus 2ab plus b squared so this is what we're going to apply here that is x square plus 2xy plus y square <clears throat> times this one we have x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is equal to 24 squared now let's see now what do you think here we already have x y equals to 35 from equation 2 so let's substitute equation 2 in here so we know that x y is equal to 35 from equation 2 so let's let's substitute we have x squared plus 2 times 35 plus y squared and in this x squared minus 2 times 35 plus y squared is equal to 24 squared <clears throat> all right now 2 times 35 is 70 so we can just rewrite it as x squared plus y squared plus 70 times x squared plus y squared minus 70 so what do we have here which is equal to 24 squared so what can we see here this is one term that's same a plus b times we have a minus b so that's an identity a square minus b square so we're going to write it in this form so what is our a x square plus y square the whole squared that's our a squared minus b squared that is 70 squared is equal to you have this 
24 squared. Now we can just write down 70 squared the other side. That is x squared plus y squared. The whole square is equal to 24 squared plus 70 squared. Now, what is 24 squared plus 70 squared? That is 576 plus 7 times 7, 4900. That's equal to 5476. That's, that's actually x squared plus y squared, the whole squared. Now, what can we do from this? You can take square root on both sides. So when you take square root on both sides, you get x square plus y square is equal to square root of 5476. So your x square plus y square is equal to square root of this is plus or minus 74. So you've got x square plus y square is plus or minus 74 and what else is given to you from equation 2 you have xy is equal to 35 so what can you say from this two things which you have you can again use a plus b whole square formula yes okay so we get to use a plus b whole square that is x plus y the whole square this is the thing we are going to use a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab all right let's write it down <clears throat> so you have got that x square plus y square is equal to plus or minus 74 and xy is equal to 35 you have to find out x plus y is how much. So let's use this. x plus y the whole square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. Okay, now let's substitute. This is x squared plus y square. Rearrange it first. 2xy. So what is x square plus y square? That's plus or minus 74. Plus or minus 74 plus 2 times 35 so that's equal to plus or minus 74 plus 2 times 35 is 70 that is your x plus y the whole squared <clears throat> okay so you can even write this as x plus y the whole square is equal to plus 74 plus 70 or or minus 74 plus 70 <clears throat> so now what you can do to remove the square you can take square root on both sides so taking square root on both sides will give you x plus y is equal to what is plus 74 plus 70 that's equal to okay i'm going to write that 144 is equal to plus 144 or minus 74 plus 70 is negative 4 now i'm going to take square root on both sides so x plus y is equal to square root of 144 plus or minus or plus or minus square root of negative 4 so now what do we have x plus y is equal to either it is plus or minus 12 one square root of 144 is 12 or what is negative 4 it's an imaginary number that goes into complex number where you need to know that i square is equal to 1 so when you have i i can substitute negative 1 i square is equal to negative 1 so you can substitute it as 
plus or minus under root of 4i squared and square root of 4 is 2 i square and root cancels so you have 2i plus or minus 2i so x plus y is equal to plus or minus 12 or plus or minus 2i this is the solution what we have got for x plus y what is x plus y plus or minus 12 this is what we found plus or minus 12 or plus or minus 2i so if you have any suggestions you can write it in the comment box thank you so much for joining bye bye take care